welcome friends to the beaver dam gonna have a hopefully a calm grand arena just floating on clouds having a good time nothing being angry of course our opponent has another jmk here's to hoping he doesn't have padme with it he doesn't look that bad honestly like uh, compared to our last opponent who had like everything at a, in the game this guy like he only has executor you know for his characters he only has four gls so like this looks like, significantly less painful but also i'm going to be double triple quadruple and six tuples checking every single team that i put in today to make sure that i'm not screwing up my team <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh okay it's gonna be a fun time i hope uh yeah unfortunately jay was first guys that's sad but then again jay's also a nerd for being first i agree <clears throat> heck yeah black knight that's what i like to hear i uh, one day i'll learn how to use ray on offense but i mean i don't think i actually will ever use her on offense She's just going to stay on my defense. I'm just going to make her beefier and beefier. We've got some exciting things happening here pretty soon with uh, Ray. I'll, uh, yeah, I, Fat Phil gave me some advice and I think I'm going to take it. So, <clears throat> you got an SLK or one relic higher than mine, one speed faster. Oh, that's painful. Oh, that's also painful, Black Knight, putting the TIE Pilot Omicron with SLKR. Oof. Uh, Wep, welcome, welcome. Ooh, that's Zarevan. That's that's rough. Crew with no speed. That's interesting. I haven't seen a character with no speed in a long time. Actually, I think I saw one just the other day. But it's definitely not something I've seen more than like once every five, six months. So yeah, ADP. That's what I've heard, and that's I, I've used her like four times on offense, and I'm in territory wars, and it's worked. Uh, and it's just all about timing your ultimate. But it's just I don't like using her on offense because I'd much rather have other people suffer. Um, okay, so we've got a Padme team here. We got a Geo team. We got a CLS team. We got Adrad. Nothing too crazy. What beats Phasma Tyomi? Jedi Knight Revan beats it, even at low gear. Uh, like, you know, as you, long as you have a Relic Jedi Knight Revan, the rest of the team's gear 12, you should still be able to get through it, honestly. Um, any team that kind of just bounces back, kind of takes it down. Uh, Boss Bounty Hunters can probably do it. But yeah. Um... Bombardment, welcome, welcome. It's going well. Uh, it, oh, if you want to watch someone rage, last Grand Arena was the first time I've raged in a Grand Arena before, and yeah, I don't know. Maybe it was entertaining. Maybe you guys were scared because I was terrifying. No, just yeah, it was it was not great. Um, I'm already seeing kind of an easy victory here. Um, we're obviously going to go through this bottom wall first. Just so that way we can see what's in the back. But I'm seeing kind of an easy win here. Uh, my day's going good. It is absolutely gorgeous here where I live. I wish I was outside, but I have spent so much time today just working on things for the channel. Um, just kind of trying to catch up on a lot of the stuff I've been doing. Um, start Tomorrow, it'll be posted for everyone. Those of you that are members can see it early today. I did finish my Jedi Knight Luke guide, and you can tell why it took so long, because it is 40 minutes long. Uh, it is just... That, that event is so long. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, it's been interesting. Starkiller is never overkill on an SLKR, if that's who you're talking about. Oh, Phasma Omicron? Yeah, no, that's that's definitely a uh, overkill that you're throwing right there. <laughs> Heck yeah, Black Knight. Yeah, I didn't remember, but I gotta throw that at Treya. Okay. So, Boss Bounty Hunters might not be great. Ooh, uh, yeah. I mean, as long as you have, like, Boba and Mando, you should be fine. Uh, Omicron Wampa should take it down, no problem, Madness. We can check for you right now. Um. That's not what I want. I want counters. 5v5 counters, and we are looking for Phasma. 
Um, yeah, hundred percent win rate. So yeah, you're you're good, one hundred percent. This is the championship round. We've won one, we've lost one, and we're gonna win one again, one hundred percent, because we are the better general. This is not Kyber one milk. This is Kyber three. Uh, we we are nowhere near the point where we're gonna do be doing Kyber 2 and Kyber 1. And also, you will never see a Bad Batch team on defense in Kyber 1. That's just unheard of. Bad Batch is not a defensive team. <clears throat> Same with Bosk. If you're using Bosk on a defensive team, you're throwing out multiple counters for GLs and all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> uh, is the Revan? Yes, but it's not very good unless you have star killers or revan just because you can't out, out damage the protection that uh mara jade is giving them by attacking out a turn with emperor palpatine yeah, a rabid beaver and is not throwing era, era exactly i don't actually have a ton of time unfortunately i have uh, about two hours to do this so we are going to go a little faster today just so that way we can get to any roster reviews or roster roasts that people want uh, and as always we do our, have our a jar 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 if any of you can afford to pitch in to the damn darth jar jar that we are trying to get to relic nine <clears throat> Can you rate my farming plan? I'm weaving in some teams between... Yeah, if you want to just throw your farming plan into the roster review section on my Discord, I will take a look at it right after Grand Arena. 100%. Uh, okay, so this is going to be Imperial Troopers. It's just my go-to counter for this. It's super easy. Let's double check and make sure that, you know, Echo is not faster than us, which I don't think that's actually possible. Uh, for Echo to be faster than my Imperial Troopers. Okay, technically there is a chance, but it's not very high. Okay. I already have Hux's unique and Crew Leech. Should I do Crew unique or save for SLKR? I'd save for SLKR. Once you get those two that you need to get SLKR, I would save for SLKR until you have at least... Excuse me, at least two on SLKR. Because that's what you need to be able to get through his whole event is two. So, whoops, did not mean to press that. My, my B. Uh, this needs to be over here. Okay. Let's get our activate dark troopers in here. Okay. First battle, let's go. <laughs> nice, Revan. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just go basic. We're gonna hit uh, Mock Gideon here in just a sec. So. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, so we'll hit the straight up just all in. These guys are, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't even matter that I'm, you know, saving abilities for the turn meter train. So easy. Okay. None too shabby, guys. None too shabby. Um, so we're going to do our same counter that we've been kind of just sticking to lately. Um... Which is, this is the last time we'll be able to pull off this counter this easily. Yeah, using an SOKR against, uh, against gas is like, I don't know, it, it never feels like a good battle to me. Exactly, 100% Mick These These two teams are definitely offensive teams. I do. I can see why people put Star Killer on defense because Star Killer does have some defensive viability. Bad Batch has zero defensive viability because it's just if they take first turn, they do good. If they don't, they don't do good, and they don't use their abilities very smartly on defense. And so, if you have a team that's faster, you're always gonna win, basically. 
Fair enough, Zarevan. Uh, let's start working on her. Get another turn. Uh, all in on you. Do that. Go all in. You have something I want. Okay, where's our song? Where's our song? Uh, who needs it? You need it. That's the last time we're going to have that easy counter to Starkiller. From here on out, we might have to bring uh, other things on offense for it, like General Grievous or something. <clears throat> Is no Zeta G12 Rex something to worry about in Phoenix? Yes. Not as scary, but it can still run you over if you're not careful. Uh, hey, Nova. Welcome, welcome. Scar Keller's a better back row team? Yeah. 100%. Uh, okay, so we're doing Wampa here. Uh, whoever says it first is the one that gets it. Uh, which Wanda do you guys want? One, two, or three? <laughs> Zito, it happens. It definitely happens. Anyone? Which Wonga? Wep okay. Wonga 3. How's Omi Savage versus Geos? Uh, I would assume it would work uh, fairly well, but in my experience, you don't have the damage. So unless you have modded for some offense, you don't have the damage to get through them fast enough. But if you have the ramping damage Datacron for today, you could probably pull it off as long as you have a high enough relic. Uh, uh, high enough relic Savage and they have a low enough relic Geos. So I've pulled it off before, but I had a ramping damage Kron. I'm done pretty well on Erodium 1 recently, so I'm hoping to make it to Kyber. Oh, heck yeah. Well, hey, I'll see you in Kyber. Let's fight. I'm down for it. Okay, we got the third Wonga. Let's get the third Wonga in here and jump in. Oh, you're... Yeah, like, you might be able to duo with it with uh, Hilo, but yeah, that's that's rough. Uh, hold on. Let, let's, let's pause the music. If I recall correctly... Um... Stacking max of 160%. And so because they have maxes, uh, he still doesn't quite deal enough damage. And so if you have the ramping damage Datacron, then he'll deal enough. But because his stuff ramps, but then it maxes out, it still doesn't quite do enough. Okay. He's 3.5 million more than me, but doesn't have a GL? That's depressing. Just in case we get blasted out, let's turn on airplane mode. It's not likely, but it can happen. Let's get that turn meter. Turn meter's gonna help us be able to get our thing back up in time. Turn meter one more time. Perfect. Got it up just in time. Turn meter again. Keep it going. Turn meter again. Turn meter again. 
Okay, and we are good. Now we just need this droid decal to take a turn. Basic, kill off the droid decal. Let's hit that, just get some turn meter in our veins, try to get our protection up back up as fast as we can. Got our protection up. Unfortunately, not quite 58 banners, but I'll take it. 67, 68, whatever. Sorry, not 50s, 60s. That's right, we're in, uh, <laughs> we're currently in 5v5, not 3v3. <clears throat> Uh, so the roster review voice chat is for those people who are members. If you buy a $10 membership, each month you get a live roster review where you'll wait in the waiting for roster review section and then I'll pull you into a private roster review one that no one can see so that way that people aren't interrupting your roster review. And then we go over your account live. You can ask questions and we can just do a really in-depth roster review with you. So that is reserved for our... Uh our, our members that are damn awesome or higher. <clears throat> yes, I, I do have a Bane, and we have a Relic 8 Bane, which is a lot of fun. So, we'll, I'm sure we'll find a battle to use them right now. There's not really a, a warrant to use them right this moment, but we'll, we'll find them a home. 100% we'll find them a home. First Order versus Executor? Dude, good luck. If you need to watch a video, go watch my video. I go through how to do it. <clears throat> Get my Gidme online? Ah, uh, same dude. Running to Trey on D every round recently. Yeah, I do need to get a Gidme up just going for that. I also need to finish some Imperial Troopers, just so that way I can have someone to replace Gideon himself. Bane versus Bane? Uh, if they had a Bane on defense, I'd do it. Oh, you mean Bane versus Cad Bane. Ah, funny. Uh. Uh, can I take out Leia with him? In Grand Arena, yes. I haven't been able to do it in Squad Arena, but I've gotten close. But in Grand Arena with the Omicrons, I'll have zero problems taking out Leia with him. Darth Bane versus Cad Bane. Uh, Jan, I would have to check what membership you have. Uh, hold on. I can actually check. Uh, boop. And we're looking at memberships. See your members. Um, okay, so the four that currently have a membership that gives them access to live roster reviews are Wep Pliskin, which we've done his a couple times on stream, uh, Derek Roberts, Caleb Zweiger, we've done him a couple times, uh, and Skodal. And so those are the four. Uh, so all those four get a roster review every month. It's the $10 membership for being damn awesome is the name of the membership. So if you upgrade, of course, you'll also get one and their first priority. So as soon as we finish Grand Arena, they're what we do first. Or if someone, you know, becomes a member while we're doing roster reviews, they are immediately slotted as the next person to go. You can choose to do it whenever you want, though. And so if you decide you don't want one today, but you can, you want to wait a couple weeks, that's 100% fine. You just message me on Discord when you want it, and we'll figure it into the next stream. Okay. Let me bring this back over now that we've uh, gotten that figured out that's not the right one that's my music this is the right one there we go now we can look up our counters okay uh, let me get your guys chat back up okay You wasted the opening attack. Ooh, sad. That's sad. 
Cad Bane's a joke, even Cub could probably be him. I'd be curious on a 1v1 versus Cup versus Bane. I'd be very curious for that one, honestly. Uh, okay, so we need to find a cheap way to get through this. What is a cheap counter for this? Because we have a lot that we can throw at this, but I'd rather not. I almost just want to throw my Jedi Knight Revan against this. Um, because we're going to use, let's see, we'll use Savage here. Uh, we'll use Vader here. Uh, we're going to use Darth Revan right there. Uh, I'm unsure what we're going to use quite yet on this, honestly. Um, because we have a lot that could take it. Good luck, Black Knight. I wish you the best. Of course the Almighty Cup beats him. Yeah, why am I doubting? How dare I doubt? It's almost like the Doubt Crons around or something. <clears throat> Heck yeah, Zarevan, that's what I like to hear. That's awesome. Okay, uh, so yeah, I think we're going to do Jedi Knight Revan here. Uh, once again, I got to go through and I got to fix my uh, characters. Because, like, yes, this is a Jedi Knight team. This, but we've been swapping out Jolie for uh, Old Man Ben lately. Do we need Old Man Ben for this team? Probably not. Yeah, we'll keep Old Man Ben for Starkiller today. So let's throw this in and just call it a day. Uh, where's our music? Let's get in Revan Song. Okay. Yeah, it's surprising that they have a Relic 7 Zam, but they don't have the Zam Omicron. Seems like an oversight, in my opinion, but whatever. Um, really, the person who's going to be the damage is Boba. The person who's going to hurt us the most is Boss if we get trapped behind his taunt. So let's go in Boss and just kill him off as fast as we can. Um, sure, why not? Go finish him off. I said go finish him off. Thank you. Uh, yeah, just kill them. Okay, their damage is basically gone at this point. Let's start working on Bosk, and Bosk is gone. Stun. No stun. Okay. Come on, let's go full banners on this. Uh, pass it. Ooh, who do we want to pass it to? Let's just keep working on Luke's cooldown, see if we can't get another stun out here. Okay, we're going to have to start working on getting our banners back here for a second. Uh, call her to assist so we can get some banners back. Call her to assist again to get the banners back. Call... Yeah, just call it Jedi Knight rather than... We should have no problems getting our banners back. Stun. Basic. Get the banners back. Um, who has the most turn meter? You. Okay, that should give us all of our banners back. And there we go. Full banner win, guys. Full banner win. Hey, TSP, welcome, welcome. Things are going good. We just got through the front wall. Nothing too crazy, and we're jumping into the back wall. So... Yeah, isn't it great that the Revan song is narrated by Malak? Oh, oh no, guys. I think we're screwed. I think that's the Grand Arena. They have a trench. Dude. Yeah, that's it. I, I guess I'm throwing in the towel. That, that is a trench right there. And like, oh my gosh, I just don't know what I'm going to do. A Qui-Gon team that they put Jedi Knight Revan and Luke on? I'm done, guys. I got to throw in the towel. I can't get through any of this. Like, what am I supposed to do? Oh, gosh. Oh. 
combination. Yeah, the comeuppance is insane, dude. Oh gosh, okay. So now it's less about... <laughs> it's a less about... Getting through teams and more about just preserving as many banners as we can't. We can. Yes, Jan, I am 100% joking. We have a Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. We have a Sith Eternal. We have a Bane. We have a Gas. We have a Darth Revan. We have a Maul team. Like, we are getting through everything on this, uh, in this whole thing. Like, we, we are going to have zero problems. <clears throat> you, I, yeah, you're right, Jan. I really need that Relic 9 cup. Okay, so let's, let's start with Solos. Uh, you'll, you guys will be proud of me. I finally went back because we're seeing Geos on defense more and more. I did go and I've started six dotting my mods for Vader. I might switch him to offense mods soon. We'll see. I've been pretty strapped for offense mods. He's at 264 right now. As soon as next Grand Arena hits, he'll be at 273, I think. So our Vader is now much faster than he used to be. So he'll be like more guaranteed against Geos. <clears throat> nah, Trench will best anything. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, honestly, I don't even know if I... I I'm just going to solo this, honestly. Uh, let me double check the speeds. I know I just looked at them, but my brain saw them, and then I just ignored them afterwards. So, <clears throat> okay, let's give Vader a... Not a Doubt Cron. Who cares about Doubt? Um... I want one of these. Haha! I'm finally beating people out with my speed on my Vader. Ha ha ha. Yeah, no, I've never bothered because uh, there's this there's this little pocket of speed that I needed for most of the time, which is the pocket is Geos typically will have no more than 260 speed. Uh, that is kind of just the flat thing of most Geos are not going to have more than 260 speed. And so I've always kind of just kept my Vader at the point where he's going to be 260 speed. But now that we're getting up here in Kyber, anytime we do see Geos, they're going to be better modded. And so we've been running into problems with that. So took the time to fix it. It's going, Dr. J. We got a pretty e easy defense overall, so things are going well. Um, honestly, let's give him our song. I feel like we need to hype up Vader, and let's give him our song. What if I told you that the Republic was now under the control of the Dark Lord of the Sith? I'm turning this up, honestly. Hundreds of senators are now under the influence of a Sith Lord. Okay. All Dark City. Regional governors now have direct control. Uh, I don't think we need Thrawn, and I'd rather have the banners. We'll keep the local systems in line. Fear of this battle station. Any attack made by the Rebels Uh, okay, so we're killing Spy. This station is now the ultimate power in the universe. Don't be too proud of this technological terror you've constructed. The ability to destroy a planet is insignificant next to the power of the Force. Don't try to frighten us with your sorcerer's ways, Lord Vader. I find your lack of faith disturbing. So. 69 banners. <clears throat> Just realize how many people are in streams now. Remember when it was like 10 people? Yeah. Yeah, we get, a, we get a good number now. And I thank you all for joining me for my, uh, you know, my insanity on most days. But yeah, easy solo. SLKR is great for defense, especially early on until you hit like a rhodium area. Then once you start hitting a rhodium, he stops, he drops off hard on my ability on defense. <clears throat> but we're listening to the rest of our song, 100%. We're not leaving it right there. I love this song. Big thanks to Noxious Nexus for uh, helping me out making the song. It's awesome. <clears throat> okay, next up is this solo right here. Oh, dude, 
I dream of the day that the Vader Kron comes back. That was so funny. Which this city is Kron looks like it might be kind of the same thing. Hey Anakin, welcome, welcome. Do we have a member that can drop Anakin a General Kenobi for us? Did you come back to say you forgive me? Save my soul. Uh, this is our last time using these crons for Savage, too. Thank you, Wep. Thank you, Sovereign Winter. You guys are awesome. Okay. Time to pass around Savage's wife. The Lord Vader Kron? I haven't even looked. Is there a Lord Vader Kron? <laughs> oh, gosh. Can't take out this Relic 7 crew and OG Kylo. Oh yeah, dude, you'll get stuck behind crew. If you're uh, if you're not careful, you'll just get straight up stuck behind crew. Hey Nexus, welcome, welcome. You're uh, We have a Nexus in our guild? Or is that a different name than what you have in our guild? Uh let's see. Okay, let's pass around Savage's wife. His wife is ours. Who gets him first? First person in chat gets gets Savage's wife first. Oh yeah, ADP. I've already disassembled all my crons. My wife is yours. This Stop. My wife is yours. A perfect male specimen. You have done well, Sama. things together I shall teach you the ways of the dark uh, and then we want to kill CLS because CLS will just basically continually take turns you must strengthen your connection with the force my apprentice your anger is your strength <laughs> looks like Caleb Cook is taking Savage's wife today I will actually kill three Fox first Wow, it's so hard to play Savage. Like, it's so hard to decide which ability he's using. Like, mm. I wish they would simplify his kit, honestly. Oh. See? Right there. I should have known better. I should have known better, and I didn't. Of how many turns he's taking in a row. <laughs> oh, anyways. No need for dominance between us. Misplay boo. I know, I'm the worst. I'm the worst. Okay, you're Grogu. That's right. You're pretty new to the guild, that's right. Welcome, welcome, friend. And you are the apprentice. Uh Honestly, I'd have to you'd have to remind me what you're going up against. Oh, crew and OG Kylo. I don't know what you have in your account, soccer. I, almost anything can take down like a crew and OG Kylo. Like you could throw in, you know, like Rex Phoenix against it if you want something low that you want to use against it. But um, uh, so the oh, let's see if ADP answered. There we go. Yep. And so if you hit that 30 million cap, you're kind of screwed because it won't give you any more credit. So if you dismantle them now and then upgrade some other Datacrons, you're not losing out on anything. But most people aren't going to have enough Datacrons where they'll hit that limit. I didn't have enough. Uh, I think I got 15 or 18 million out of it. <clears throat> okay, sounds good, Sakura. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have the Bad Batch. Nope. No Bad Batch song. I need to start some some of these times just doing uh, songs that are like the uh, the enemy songs, just so that way we can get some other songs into our playlist. <clears throat> You're fired. Uh, where can I get some damn pain? Uh, oh yeah, Phoenix and Troopers. Uh, hold on, actually.
Monkey Man. <clears throat> oh, dude. You forgot to use a song in your Vader's solo on Geo's? Dude, did you even win? Is that even possible to win? Yes, you can also get a head start on Datacrons, which is big. Uh, we'll see how long this takes. So we're going to do Darth Revan here. Um, just because that's an easy battle that you can full banner win it. Um, we might not full banner win it, but we can full banner win it, which is what's important. Uh, so this is my free-to-play account. Uh, I'll be doing an update on it tomorrow. Uh, but my two squads that are like my base squads are Imperial Troopers and Harris and Dula with Captain Rex. And honestly, it, this team solos all of Galactic War for me every single day. I just throw it on auto while I watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine and I have zero problems. So, yeah, honestly, two teams that are fantastic because it's more important before you start going for legendary characters, before you develop a farming plan where you're like, I wanna go for Executor or anything like that, you need a team that can beat Galactic War. It's vitally important. So yes, 100%, that's, that's a good idea for your, uh, uh, your girlfriend. Also keep in mind, uh, try to push her to something she really enjoys too. So once she gets her Galactic War team up, whether that be Imperial Troopers, although if you are doing Galactic War with Imperial Troopers, I do suggest Iden lead. Still get Piet, Veers, uh, and all of them, Dark Trooper, but use uh, Iden Versio lead without the uh, Zetas. You can't really do much with uh, Veers and Piet besides just get through some dark side battles. Uh, but then after she gets either Phoenix ready to go for Galactic War or uh, Imperial Troopers ready for Galactic War, then try to encourage her to go for like a legendary character she likes. Uh, you know, if CLS, if Luke is her favorite character, push her towards CLS. Uh, you know, if she's read any books or played any games, you can push her towards characters like that. But give give her some ideas on things that she'll enjoy. Give her a little peepee. -pee. Uh, give your girlfriend your peepee. -pee. Uh, <laughs> sorry, that was inappropriate. Uh, anyways. Um... I had an emotional support offense, 400% defense. Kron, heck yeah. Yeah, I'm just now re-watching uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. And I like I watched and caught up like two seasons ago, three seasons ago. And so this is me getting back into it and re-watching it. Especially because my uh, a lot of people in my family have watched it. And so it gives me something to talk about at family gatherings. So. Watching the Mando series? Heck yeah. So maybe Best Car Mandalorian. I mean, not the bad farm. Not a great one, but honestly, one of my favorite events in this entire game is the Best Car Mandalorian event. So. <clears throat> She'll need her own PP. Pee -pee. Yeah, Dr. J, you should be worried if she gets her own PP. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Uh, we've got Sith Eternal for here. Uh, I don't, I don't know what we're gonna use on Maul, honestly. Star Killer probably, and just go all in. Okay, we have two GLs. We have Star Killer. We have Bane. We have a lot that uh, that we can play around with. So let's go check out their uh, their fleets. Uh, so this is gonna be Darth Revan. Dude, I watched the two newest uh, Bad Batch episodes last night, and they were straight fire. Like, I really enjoyed them. Uh, like, uh, small spoiler. Small spoiler, but not a spoiler, because it's Bad Batch. I love anything to do with clones. I love clones making decisions. I love seeing clones as human. Uh, it was one of my favorite aspects of the Republic Commando books way back when, before uh, like Clone Wars even had started, was uh, you read the Republic Commando books and you saw these clones as actual people. Each of them had a personality and a way of looking at the world that was different, even though they looked the same. And I loved that idea. And then they took it in Clone Wars and ran with it. And, you know, these last two episodes of Bad Batch have pushed that direction. And Bad Batch in general has pushed that direction hard. And I love it so much. So, <clears throat> yeah, there you go. Uh, go go in for Bam, and then get Fennec Shand, and then just get her kind of a Lord Vader counter. And that Fennec Shand team with Bam works against a lot of teams. So. <clears throat> 
yeah, you're you're not wrong, Sovereign Winter, but I don't want to spoil, you know, when characters show up or anything like that. So I try to keep as general information as I can, just so that way people can, you know, enjoy the show at their own behest. Same with video games. I'm not a fan of spoilers. Uh, neither is my brother, and so we've always avoided them. So, anyways, let's uh let's jump into this battle. Um. Honestly, I kind of want to use uh, this. No, not this. Where is it? This one. And just ensure that we can get some debuffs passed around. Left Kareth dash. <laughs> put Bounty Hunters on D to throw off one of my previous opponents. Nice. Um, okay. Okay. So, let's just get the fear out there. More fear. Nail those staggers. Okay, Adrad is now permanently gone. Jin Urso is permanently gone. Just keep going. Ability block on you? No ability block, but kill him off. Okay, I'll take 62 banners. 62 banners isn't bad. <clears throat> okay, so we have this team. I don't want to screw around with a, or a Padme team. <laughs> this is so overkill. <laughs> oh gosh what's on south we got trench we got mall oh yeah OG Darth Revan still freaking amazing uh, honestly we're actually going to use the OG uh, counter for this um, I'm thinking that we use you, 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 and let's use you since you're going to attack out of turn. And we do like the OG Padme counter uh, where you use this team. Problem is they have a lot of taunts. So what do we have down south? We have Maul. So we're going to Sith Eternal. And then we'll, we can gas. Does it have Bam? If it's a... Uh, Okay, sounds good, uh, Nexus. You have a great night. <clears throat> I don't have the the DC, so it's not wasting a GL quite yet. <clears throat> yeah, with what I have left. Okay, so this one does have Bam, which is a nightmare to deal with. I hate dealing with Bam with this team. And so I want to use Bane here, honestly. Because it'll just make life easier. So, we'll do Bane. Uh, okay, so that... We can do Starkiller here, Bane here, Sith Eternal here. Uh, fresh meme in the meme channel. Okay. Should I be worried is the question. <laughs> yeah, that's, that sounds about right. <laughs> Uh, Bam is Beskar Armor Mandalorian. Gosh. Uh, yeah, so Bam is Beskar Armor Mandalorian. We could call him, you know, Beskar Mandalorian or uh, Mba if we wanted to, but it's just become Bam, so... I love the meme. Thank you. But yeah, so we, uh... So we'll use Starkiller here. Um, so Starkiller, Bane, Sith Eternal. Which leaves us... SLKR here. So let's... We'll take in a full SLKR team, honestly, because I don't want to sleep on Padme. 
We should call Pam Shiny. <laughs> uh, uh, we want the Conquest version that I have. Let's get him a Doubtcron just for fun. Okay. Jumping right in. I'm curious if this guy puts his executor on defense. Okay, when you're doing SLKR versus Padme, this is probably not important to you guys in most cases, but you want to start by stunning JKA. Jedi Knight Anakin is just a pain. It really only matters if you're in Conquest, honestly. Grease Banners? Grease Banners, heck yeah. Give me an F for my opponent, putting... First order tie pilot, yeah, only with the SLKR. Ah, everyone, get an F in the chat for his opponent. That's that's painful. Also, get an F in the chat for my current opponent because, like, bro, why? Why would you put Luke and Jedi Knight Revan with this team? Like, I get I get what they're trying to do, but it's not good. <laughs> Uh, this is wasting three teams in one. Okay. Uh, so we'll get to fleets last. Let's go ahead and plow our way through this. So this is supposed to be our Bane battle. We, we already used our Wampa. We already used our Wampa, unfortunately. We used our Wampa over on General Grievous on the front wall. Seven of his eight GLs in his front walls. That sounds like a fun time, Anthony. I mean, with Bane, though, makes it significantly easier. I'm curious what you can do with Tuscans. You'll have to let me know what you can do with them, Black Knight. I've never really paid attention to them. Uh, if Qui-Gon dies, neither of them can revive him. Yes, but... Uh, Revan doesn't count as a revive, he saves. And so technically you do get another uh, full health and full protection on Qui-Gon. So that is the point of putting Jedi Knight Revan on the team. Jolie doesn't really have a spot because Qui-Gon can't get revived. So. Uh, I'm guessing, I'm guessing here, uh, that we aren't going to... I'm guessing that uh, Arnold still hasn't posted his uh, song yet. Let's take a look. Uh, yeah, Galactic Republic Jedi is only if Anakin's on the team. That's Anakin's part in the team, not uh, not anyone else's. So the it, it's just Jedi in general for Qui Gon's Omicron. Okay. I have, I have found it, my friends, my friending. I have found it. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna laugh when this Always doesn't work. No more. No less. A master. A yes, you are right. This is bringing a nuke to a fist fight. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that was definitely a nuke to a fist fight. You're not wrong. But when you have a uh, GL, this whole thing turns off. So. There's another meme. <laughs> oh. I'll, I'll show you guys this one real quick. <laughs> you fool. I've been trained in your Jedi arts by Count Dooku. Just spin your lightsabers real fast. That'll get them. 
Oh, dang. Uh, oh, I'm letting the song play. Like, it's it's not going to end. The song's just going to continue to play while we uh, take a look at this next battle. Darth Vader team, you're correct, on a single Zeta, got it down to Tarkin and Darth Vader. Heck yeah. Yeah, as soon as I get Krex up to uh, Relic levels, I'm definitely just 100% going on Lord I just realized, someone super chatted. I think it was uh, Donovan, but I don't think I ever saw it show up on screen. Maybe I'm crazy. But Donovan, thank you for the $5 towards the Ajar Jar Jar Jar. I appreciate it. As we're getting closer, we're getting more and more full, so that way I can shake the jar. And then Jar Jar Twins. <clears throat> Sub one hour full clear. Heck yeah, that's what I like to hear. Oh yeah, they, it's very nice that they can do that. Honestly, this is one of my favorite songs that Arnold has ever done. Like, it's, it's great. Yeah, I don't know what's up. Well, I mean, there's only one way for us to know if it's working, and that's for one of you guys to super chat. So, you know, just super chat so that way we can see if it's working. <laughs> okay. So, let's see, what song do we want for this guy? I have not made a Jar Jar Clinks yet. I, so, I've been trying to figure out how to make a digital one. Uh, I, I figured out how to get a digital jar or like a digital cup, but I have to figure out how to get a digital jar. I think it's going to take some editing on my side because I have to upload my own artwork for it and like do some stuff. And so it's going to take me a bit to get like a one on screen and I plan on doing one on screen. But then uh, tomorrow I plan on picking up an actual physical jar so that way Jar Jar clinks. <clears throat> <laughs> Give me your money, lol. Exactly, exactly. Uh, we, we actually have a song for this. What song is it, you ask? That is an excellent question. I'm kind of feeling it and roll it today. Roll it. Yeah. Sith Eternal has so much anti-Jedi synergy that just any kind of Jedi team kind of falls apart when it comes to him. Passing around that doubt. I don't even have to hit anyone. Jeez. Doesn't matter. You all have foresight. You guys are passing it around for me. Uh, let's just start working on Jolie for fun. Yeah. You're not wrong, Madness. Deploy the likes. Are we blind? I need, I need to, like, find a way to edit that in. That would be hilarious. Honestly, if we can just stay like this, I'm fine with just killing people off one at a time without hitting ultimate, because if we don't hit ultimate, then we can just sit here and just take damage and still get full banners. So I think that's what we're going to do, is we're not even going to bother. And luckily, the more that they uh, take turns, the more I get damage because I increase my mastery. So. One down. <laughs> Excuse me, that was intense. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's go for Shock T next. If we start getting close to running out of time, we'll uh, we'll hurry this up. Dark Trooper Moff Gideon song? Fair, fair. I do like that one. That one's good. Uh, here, we ran out of time. Why not do the Dark Trooper Moff Gideon one? Uh, that's the thing, though. Is I don't remember what it's called. Is it under Dark Trooper? 
Dark Trooper Moff Gideon theme. There we go. We'll play it for you. I got you. Fight for that one more banner. Oh, yeah. 100%. Get the higher damaging guy out of here. Okay. That's one turn. We need one more turn. Don't kill him in one hit. Oh, yeah. Dude, Zori's amazing, Sakura. 100%. <clears throat> Lost your GAC by 14 banners. That's rough. I will take a look at your other masterpiece. Oh, gosh. I don't even want to think about that one. <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah. I love the fact that perfect battles are 69 banners. I think that is the most beautiful thing CG has ever done. <clears throat> okay. This is Trench. This is overkill, but we're gonna do it. Heck yeah, Black Knight, that's what I like to hear. You going for Sith Eternal, or you just want the solo? <laughs> um, I'm looking for Mixed. We're actually gonna drop Plo Koon out of here, and give them Old Ben. Where's Old Ben? There's Old Ben. Okay, sounds good, Bombardment. You have a great night. Oh, you're fine, dude. You can always watch it and watch me rage. Uh, yeah, stun him. Or not stun him. Are they immune to stun? I actually don't know. I don't know anything about this team because I just don't care about this team. That will bring order to the galaxy. In but a few minutes, the purge of Mandalore will be complete. We shall be clear off all those buffs. Of the Mandalorians. Once and for all. Long live the Empire! Long live the Empire! Right. Dr. J, thank you for renewing your membership. Or getting a new one, I'm not sure. I think it's been like a month since you've gotten yours, but however it's labeled, welcome to the damn community. And thank you for being one of our be? damn elite. What's it gonna be this time? Surrender? Throw the Star Wars Unlimited. Uh I think I can. Uh, I want full banners so bad. <laughs> Black Knight, you don't have to do it. You just get a free super chat every time. Where's our uh, pull it out of the sky? I don't think we're going to be able to pull it out of the sky, but. Play it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Mmm. You were weak when I found you. Dang it! Oh, if only Mara Jade hadn't taken a turn. We could pull it out of the sky. Oh, unleashed right there. Oh, is this your first time, Dr. J? I could have sworn that you were uh, you were already there. Okay. Did I just have my volume turned off on my end? Thank you for uh, becoming damn cool, though, Dr. J. I will be sure uh, in Discord. Make sure you uh, have the name same in Discord, and I will make sure that I give you uh, access to our member chat and everything. Okay. Where's our regular music? Yeah, yeah, ugh, so close. The, th the annoying thing is we would have had Unleashed a turn earlier, except for the fact that Newt Gunray dodged an attack. 
And so because Newt gave Gunray do dodged attack, we lost out on that. And, uh, annoying. But, I mean, we're still doing great. Um, <clears throat> so this is going to be Negotiator. Um, I really don't like the idea of a Finalizer Mirror Match. We're probably going to do Chimera here and then Finalizer here and call it a day. Okay, sounds good, Dr. J. So I'll, I'll make sure that you uh, get the stuff. Or one of my, uh, one of my moderators will. Uh, which one are, did we just click on? We clicked on finalizer battle, right? Yep, finalizer. What we want here. Okay, finalizer. Uh, get rid of Dorito. We've never needed him. Uh, we almost forgot our song. My bad. Why not Radis the GG? If you guys want to see Radis against GG, I'm down for that. I just have never done it. Oh no, I left Radis on defense. That's right. That's why we're not Radising GG. But yeah, I, if you guys want to see my Star Wars Unlimited cards, I'll show you. But it's just like it's just it's you know separate game from this. But yeah, the trading card game has been a lot of fun. I've got a ton of cards for it now. <sighs> The uh, local card shop is actually out of cards. I'm selling some of my magic cards to fund my addiction, basically. Uh, yeah, we're gonna push turn meter. All in on you. Okay, now we fully block him. And big hit on him. Finish him off. Uh, that guy. Uh, it more depends, Madness, on how fast you can get Anakin down. You need to get Anakin under 50% health in the opening play, otherwise you're going to get screwed. Because you don't want them to open with the AoE. So if you can deal enough damage in the opening play, you'll be fine. Got the ability block, even though the attack was dodged. Uh, we're gonna do that. Uh, let's just go all in on you. Uh, can we finish him off? Not quite. Can we finish him off? Not quite. Big hit. Okay, sweet. We're through the full work. Let's just clear off the foresight with you. Push turn meter. Uh, try for that stun so we're not stuck behind you. Okay. Uh, let's finish off you. Um, I don't know what we want for a song to follow this up. Oh, I know what we want for this song that follows this up. I absolutely know what we want. Dead. It's a complicated profession. Uh, we'll just pass the turn to you. Big hit. Okay. Now we don't have to worry about him. Mildly annoying stun. Let's get a stun on you. Um, let's get a stun on you. Or kill you. That works too. Oh, stealing my banners. How dare you. Get a little bit of banners back first. Oh, heck yeah. That's what I love to see. Okay. Oh, come on. Kill him. Thank you. Goodness gracious. There's a lot of new memes in the mean channel. Oh no. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. <clears throat> Easy battle. Next up is this one. It's a complicated profession. Hunting. Bubble, 
We are not going through this battle without Thrawn Song. I love Thrawn Song. It's probably my favorite one that he's done. But that might also be biased because I just love Thrawn as a character. I've actually been um, listening to the Thrawn, not the Thrawn trilogy that's the new one, but rather the prequel trilogy that's the new one. So it's the Ascendancy series. Uh, really interesting. I've been loving it. It's a little hard to get into, but I'm on the third book right now, and I'm oh, it's so good. Start my operations here and pull the rebels apart. Beats. We're gonna try something new this time. They'll be the architects of their own destruction. There is no escape, escape, escape. There is no escape, 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 that one star is all the difference, dude. Um, let's just have you kill her or kill him. Okay. Now we're gonna go all in on Kylo Ren on mask, and we shouldn't have any problems. Um Yeah, we'll just bring in you. But the wall will be We don't have a taunt, so they're gonna have to focus down her. Um boys in your gut. I study the There is no escape, escape, escape. There is no escape, escape, hey, 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 there is no escape. Best banners I can go for. Okay. 69. Nice, guys. Nice. <clears throat> um, your birthday's today. I got those Thrawn trillies for already halfway through the first one. Dude, they are great, TSP. Also, happy birthday, dude. That's awesome. Just think. X amount of years ago, you popped out of your mother, and now you're here, and you can grace us with your presence. Thank you for being here on your birthday, TSP. <clears throat> Rabbit. I, I watched Dune. Today I went on the 7 with friends. The second Dune movie is dope. I watched the first one, but I was on my phone playing Galaxy of Heroes almost the entire time. I gotta be honest. And so I don't remember almost anything from Dune 1, nor do I have any opinions about Dune 1 because I was so lost. Because I was playing, in one hand I had my account, and in my other hand I had a free-to-play account that I was working on at the time that I have since gifted away to someone else. And so I wasn't paying attention at all. But I've heard amazing things about both movies, and I plan on going as soon as my next paycheck hits, or as soon as my uh, money from YouTube hits. But I'd rather use the YouTube money I get this next week on you guys and try to go for that Darth Jar Jar since you guys are contributing towards it. So I'd rather put that all towards that. And so I'm honestly probably not going to go see it for another about week and a half just so that way I can wait for my own money to come in. Because I really want to keep working on that Darth Jar Jar for us. Um, so we'll see. Uh, Dune 2, I really want to see it. I've heard amazing things. Haven't had a chance to see it yet. <clears throat> yes, Anakin's least favorite movie of all times. Uh, the books, yeah, my, uh, my roommate actually just got them all, uh, and so I've been considering reading them myself, but I haven't gotten around to it. I might buy them on Audible because during my, uh, I, I work for Pepsi, and so I kind of just go around from store to store, I don't see my coworkers, and I just work for eight hours, and so I listen to books all the time, and so, like, Star Wars books hurt my soul a bit, a bit because they cost money, and they cost the same amount as some other books, but they're quite short usually, and so I'll finish one in like a shift and a half, and so it hurts my soul a bit. <clears throat> How much money do you need for the Jar Jar? Uh, the So, the overall amount for Jar Jar to get to Relic 9 is going to be somewhere in the area of $600 on the minimum side. And so that's why I set it to $1,000, is because depending on RNG, could be higher, could be lower. So... 
<laughs> I want to go see a movie about sand. There's a movie about sand? Oh, gosh. Mm, but yeah. Mm. <laughs> I almost have the whole collection of legends and paperback if you want them. Dude. Oh, I'm jealous. I, I've got, let's see. I think I own about 25 Legends books, maybe closer to 20, and they're all on my shelf in my living room. Um, our, our artist actually has one of mine. I think uh, I think he borrowed the Revan one that takes place before the Old Republic, but after uh, KOTOR 1 and KOTOR 2. So, may I place three counts to be reviewed? Mine, my alts, and my girlfriend's? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, go ahead and throw them in. If I got the time, I'll get to them. Uh, you, you guys know the rules. I only have so much time to be around, and so if I have time, I'll get to them. I need to finish up Grand Arena right now as fast as I can so I can get to a couple roster reviews with you guys because I do have to be somewhere at 5, and so we're going to we're gonna try and bum rush this last battle. Uh, it shouldn't be bad whatsoever. I'm honestly just going to bring in my regular uh, negotiator fleet. We'll take away those to get best banners. We are going to try our best to get an amazing score for today. Um, let's get our song going. Um, I think last time we used high ground. So this time let's use hello there. Hello there. <clears throat> hey, Tank Ideals. Welcome, welcome, Jan. Thanks for getting in there. How does RNG affect getting the Relic 9? RNG doesn't affect the Relic 9. Uh, that's the extra 50 bucks I have on the end. It's $550 at the low end. That is affecting getting the characters, the, the Gungans themselves. Because I have to roll the RNG. I have to try and farm them as fast as I can with adding in, you know, refreshes and things like that. So that that extra money, the, the $500 to $1,000 that it is, is the RNG. The Relic 9 just costs an extra 50 bucks on the top. So. Yeah. So it's it's not the Relic 9 that, that that's the charge our tip jar is going towards. It's getting the new characters as early as possible because we have to get them in time for the event to be able to participate. So. Sorry, we'll, we'll jump in now. Uh... We're going to be stuck behind Sun Fak for a hot second, so we might as well just go all in on him. Uh, ooh, because we didn't hit Spy, though. Where's our Spy? All in on Spy. Heck yes. Okay. We can kill Soldier before he goes back under Stealth. That'll be really nice. Okay, sweet. Um, honestly, what's the turn meter look like? Oh, so close. I was really hoping we'd get it right there. That would have been the win right there. Gosh dang it. I'm glad we saved Plo Koon for now, though. Keep working, keep working. Okay, kill him off. No, he can't stealth without Spy. I, I said that and then I realized that and I was like, oh, it's, he's gone. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> Come on, Grace Banners. Ooh! Ooh! I was almost at full banners! I hate Malevolence so much. That was weird that it gave me a, a turn right there. <clears throat> Oh, 1852. That is our best score in Kybers, guys. Heck yes. It would have been 1855. Gosh dang it. Ugh. But that's fine. 1852, I don't think he can beat that, honestly. Like, that is some insane banners. Uh, yeah, like, I, I think we'll be fine. And also... 
Also, brief side note and update on the account, just really quick before we jump into some uh, some different stuff. Uh, let's take a look. I posted it in the Discord. This is our current Datacron for Keller and Beck. So we're still working on re-rolling this. We'll see how much I re-roll it. But we are getting close to a level 9 Datacron for Keller and Beck and having our first one. So, 1852, what a good year. Yeah, uh, that is that is my record, so I'm happy with it. But yeah, so we will have a Keller and Beck Cron, period. Regardless if it's the best Keller and Beck Cron, we'll see. But we'll have a Keller and Beck Cron, and we might get another Keller and Beck Cron if we can find one that's better. But currently, it's a little hard to uh, farm it. Let me see what other Jedi can roll. So it's Jedi Knight Calcestis, Mace Windu, Kiati Mundi. Yeah, so it's not really important that we get any other... Uh, level nine for the jedi because i don't have any of those guys relict or one of them not even unlocked so i can't wait for the keller and beckron honestly that's right i still need to uh do my raid attempts oh shiz 40 minutes yeah let's uh okay we'll, we'll start looking at accounts but I do need to fight my way up to some degree in Fleet Arena. Um, so this battle is take out you, take out you, go to Bounty Hunters, and swap them, and we're going in. So for those of you who are struggling with this counter, here you go, this is how you do it. <clears throat> yeah, no, I will uh, ADP. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be re-rolling it for as much protection as possible. Uh, so all in, uh, and then we're gonna hit him with this, get rid of the taunt, yeah, 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 and then we, um, call in Boba, and then we hit Malgus with the AoE, everyone has ability blocks, if fighter dies, and now we just go all in on Sith Marauder. Dang, that was bad RNG. I really wish he hadn't dodged that attack. Really poor thing having that come in as your first reinforcement. That's really bad. Um, yeah, let's just... Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Malgus right here. And the reason I'm hitting Malgus is so that way I can... Uh, Knock Malgus into his second health bar. <clears throat> oh, yeah. That, that would be cool. I mean, it couldn't be uh, piloted by BAM because obviously we already have a BAM ship. Um, let's just heal up you. Clear off buffs again. Oh, that is so much damage. Yeah, so you could do Mando, though, like the basic Mando. Or we, I'm guessing we're going to get another Mando at some point. Like, we kind of have to. Oh. Mm, didn't even notice the days. It's fine, though. We really got to get Vader out of here. He basically just decimates this team with Executor. Oh, well, looks like we're going to lose this one. Uh, yeah, let's just go all in on him. Yeah, there goes our Xanadu's blood. I don't know if we'll have enough at this point to go through this last guy. Goodness gracious, they've really filled these reinforcements. Is this just a bait out executors? Jeez. Yeah, pirate capital ship would be definitely cool. I 100% agree. Yeah, I'm going to lose this one. I don't got time for this. <clears throat> this is one of my one problem is executor is just not viable against uh, Leviathan nearly as well as it should be. <clears throat> in my opinion, for a meta ship. 
But, hey, whatever. Once I up my relic levels when I have time, I'm sure I'll, I'll be fine. Okay, let's jump into some of these uh, roster reviews. We're going to try and go through as many as we can as fast as we can. Um, okay, Jan. Jan, are you still here or did you leave? Yeah, I, I've, I always enjoy talking to my opponent, honestly. I usually just message them and I'm like, hey, can you let me win? Please. I'm begging you. Don't give responses very often from that. I don't know why. Couldn't tell you. Hondo Anaka needs a capital ship. Give him his little uh, little UFO looking thing that's just so freaking weird. <clears throat> okay, Jan. I am headed. Okay. Here. <laughs> Figures. Okay. So. <clears throat> I just got SLKR working on Relic 7 a.m. That's, I love to hear that. That's awesome. Uh, you're also working on my Raz requirements and GL Ray requirements. Passively working on Geos and Jedi Knight Revan team. Sweet. Okay. I love seeing you have your first Galactic Legend. It's great. Yeah, no problem. Madness. Uh, good. Sounds good. You have a great night. Sorry, my brain's already getting scattered, and I'm like 10 seconds into a roster review. Yeah, no problem. <clears throat> okay, so. Let's take a look at your mods. I do want to see First Order Officer get slightly faster than your Hux. It'll help for the event getting the ultimate. Uh, you can do the ultimate tier, like, right now. If you fix that, you should be able to do it at Relic 4, no problem. That's what I did at Relic 4. You can still pull it off this way. I have pulled it off that way. It's just less good overall. Um... Resistance Hero Finn. Oh. Yeah, no. Uh, keep working on your mods. I can see that you moved your mods for the event. Um, but yeah. Uh, Resistance Hero Finn needs some solid speed on him. So you're working on Geos probably for your guild. I'll check your Datacrons right now. You've got a lot of Datacrons, just none that you're using. Which comes, tends to be the problem when you're low level because you're trying to go for, uh... You're, uh... You're just trying to get credits to be able to level up one Datacron. And so it's just problematic. And so you just end up with a ton. <clears throat> okay, so... Let's take a look at your Resistance Faction. See kind of where you're working on with Ray. Uh, so you have no Zori. Okay, first things first, you're going to want to start farming Zori. Add her into your plan. With Zori, you only need one Zeta to unlock Ray, which is super, super nice. So, hey, Andy Nachos, welcome, welcome. Um, so you're going to want to get yourself a two-star, three-star Zori, whatever you need. It's all you need. You don't need anything past a two-star. Uh, two-star gear nine Zori with one Zeta gets you through the Ray event. Uh, additionally, if you add the Finn Zeta in as well, it's not required for the event, but you'll immediately have a usable team with Zori. Uh, so until you get Ray, you'll have a really, really, really good team. You have 77 million credits. Holy shiz, dude. <clears throat> um, but yeah, so Finn Zeta and Zori Zeta. Zori Zeta is the only one you need for the event, but if you want a team right now that's really good that you already have everything for, you just need to unlock Zori, get her to gear 9, drop a Zeta on her, and then drop the Zeta on Finn, and you'll have an absolutely banger defensive team. At, I used a three-star forever. Even in Kyber, I was getting four or five holds with a gear nine three-star Zori. I only have her at seven-star because of the event that happened. Soon, I will get her up to relic level, but that's that's a soon. Yeah, can I have some of those credits? Seriously. Okay. Um... But yeah, so that's a big thing that I would say work on is get that Zori up. I understand the whole Geo thing 100% for guilds. Uh, you should definitely have your Geos done. So that's Sunfact. Where's your GBA? Where's your GBA? There's the GBA. Okay, so you're basically done with your Geos. You just got to finish your Sunfact, which is great. Awesome, dude. Uh, definitely not a bad farm. It's all raid one currency that you can spend there without having to spend any energy, which is super nice. Jedi Knight Revan's always a great team. Uh, even, you know, a Relic 3 Jedi Knight Revan is what I used for a long time. Takes on basically any Knight Sisters with Gear 12 Jedi. So, solid team in general. Uh, I don't think they're bad side farms whatsoever. But I would focus down that Zori ASAP. 
<clears throat> you just got the city of Static Rod? I'm jealous, ADP. I don't have the, the materials to go spend for that. Yeah, exactly what Dr. J said, like 100%. And whatever you do, please, for the life of your life, my life, everyone's life, for the love of all that is holy, do not apply this Omicron on Finn himself. It is territory battles. Don't do it. <clears throat> Anyways. <laughs> okay. Uh, keep working on the echelon. You're making great progress. You're, you're obviously working on your uh, resistance... Radis team, so uh, definitely be getting your uh, bomber as well as soon as you can. Breaking down all your purples. Yeah, I, I wish I had that many purples, but purples was the one that I just didn't put a lot into. You have malevolence? Awesome. Yeah, so keep working on your, uh, your malevolence. Even at this point, though, you can get holds out of it. I don't know if you're using it right now. Um, okay, you don't have it right now. Dude, you need to work on your fleets a bit. This is probably a sore spot for you. Uh, I would highly suggest working on Executor at some point soon. Um, but regardless, just getting Razor Crest or IG-2000 done is going to get you your Rebels, which specifically means a Millennium Falcon, which I'm saying Millennium Falcon may not be usable to you right now in a Rebel fleet, but you can definitely throw that into a Malevolence fleet as your first reinforcement, and it comes in and makes them have to kill every bot before they can kill Millennium Falcon, which is hilarious to me. So just a thought, you can improve your Malevolence squad by improving your Bounty Hunters, and it also gets you progress towards Executor. So, what if City of Zeta is mandatory for his new Datacron? I don't think so. I don't think we'll need it, honestly. <clears throat> yeah, so... Definitely something to look at would be getting your bounty hunters up for the sake of getting that Millennium Falcon. It, I think it's hilarious. I've gotten so many holds with that, and it's really, really stupid. Uh, but regardless, uh, I think your big focus should be continuing on your Radis fleet, make sure you're farming your Enchilada, and then getting that Zori Finn team going. Let's start ignoring ships. Yeah, don't, don't ignore ships. It's painful to try and catch up on ships. And I 100% agree, Jan. Heck yeah, Sakura. Dude, honestly, Executor as your first farm is actually... It's not the most fun farm, but it is really, really good. Uh, let me just send this message real quick. Um... But yeah, so keep working on your mods, Jan. Uh, if you need a mod farming guide, go check out my channel. Uh, I'm probably going to do a mod slicing um, guide here pretty soon to kind of just go over everything about slicing. Uh, you're with Stelia from Discord. Okay, very cool. Uh, executive farm is only fun when you get the executor. Exactly, Andy Nachos. And if you get a dark trooper, because I love Imperial Troopers so much. <clears throat> Okay, uh, but yeah, looking good, looking solid. I would like to see more relic levels on your Wampa, but that Zori team, amazing team that you can get literally with like no investment besides the Zeta. And it's really, really great. Uh, you don't have a seven star capital ship. Oh, that's that's painful. Yeah, so keep working on that capital ship and you'll, you'll get there. Uh, but make sure you're working on the Enchilada and consider the executor executor will get you a couple different fleets uh including a um han solo's millennium falcon for your malevolence so i would probably do ray into executor if i were you so take a look at getting razor crest every time it comes up in the fleet uh fleet shard or a fleet currency whatever shop the fleet shop go there and buy things but yeah anyways is your SLKR speed good? Uh, let's take a look. 
Uh, you want to keep going. I'd say anything over 540s, and it's like a solidly modded Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. And then if you want a great Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, you want over 570. But 144 extra speed is excellent on an account like this, and great start towards getting a uh, good GL. So I try to get them in the 540s at least, and if you can get them up into the 570s, that is absolutely perfect. But this is great considering where the mods are on your other characters. This is fantastic for this character. But yeah, keep going. <clears throat> okay. Well, Wistelia, we're going on to you. Or Sakura, however you want to be addressed. Bam's a gear 9 farm. Uh, it's just farming up the characters, and then they all have to be gear 9. Plus, they help out your bounty hunters anyways. Uh, so it's really not a problem. So, like, it, it's not as far off as you think. It's literally just farming up some characters and getting them to gear 9, which is really, really easy, especially with the raid 1 currency changes. So, <clears throat> okay, Westalia, Westalia, uh, I'm just going to call you Sakura. Sakura, by the way, if you see missing mods on some characters, it means I'm currently working on them and don't want to put on terrible mods. Fair. Since I'm only in Carbonite 1, it doesn't really matter that much yet. The inner perfectionist can't help it. <laughs> I mean, any mods are better than no mods, especially the fact that you're really close to 4 million GP. Uh, I wouldn't say this account looks ready to do hard mode uh, conquest, but you might be able to pull off some proving grounds with this account. And so, you know, it's something to look at. Uh, regardless, though, current farming plan, Ray, farming Barris and Sortie while I gather mats to unlock and relic Ray. Uh, what does your resistance look like? I saw your Zori, which I always love to see a high gear Zori. Uh, so you have one, two, three. So you have the requirements done. Do you have the ships done is the question? Okay, so you have the Rattus done. So you're just farming to get the character. Yeah, they, they definitely can't do hard mode, but they might be able to pull off a conquest or two. Or a galactic, uh, what is it called? Proving grounds. That's what it's called. Okay, sounds good, Jan. You have a great night. So, Andy Nachos, they don't have 4 mil, but they also said directly that they have characters that are missing mods because they're perfectionists and don't want to put on mods. 28, what is that, 28,000? 27,000? Is all they need to hit 4 million. They can do that in modding in, like, 10 seconds. So, like, that's what I'm saying, Andy. Ray is 10 of 330. Okay, so you are currently farming Ray. Love to see it. Got it. Uh... Hopefully you're following my guides. Uh, anyways, you're working on Barris and Sorty. Okay, good characters to put with her. CLS. Okay, so then you want to do CLS Galactic Republic. So I'm guessing a Padme team. Sith Trio, Phoenix Crex, Unlock SLKR, General Grievous team working towards Gas, Gas Jedi Knight Revan, Jedi, Jedi Knight Luke, JML, Bounty Hunters. Bad Batch, Star Killer, Profanity, jeez, this is a wild, wild farming plan. That's, that's a lot of stuff in a row. Okay, <clears throat> um, I'm glad that was actually like my first video I posted for Galaxy of Heroes was that first, uh, first guy for uh, Ray. Um, so first things first, if I were to tell you uh, a direct like order of things, hold on, let's check your. Okay. Okay, so you you did not buy Okay. Beautiful having your executor. I love seeing it. Okay. So you did not buy the bundle, which is why you're almost there. Uh honestly, if I were you, um Unless you're running low on teams, which, where are you right now? You're very few and far between. You're not wrong, ADP. It's also, uh, 
it's nice to throw on bad mods onto characters because then you can replace them and then put those bad mods on someone else. And so you can constantly kind of trail down mods. So you get a really good mod, you'll put it on your Mara Jade. And then, because Mara Jade's supposed to be super fast. And then the one you pull off Mara Jade that only has like 12 speed on it, you can throw onto another character and now his mods are better. And so you can just hand me down mods really really well and really easily in this game and then you can get rid of your crap mods later down the road where you have like one speed on them and you're just like eh, this is crap you can just delete them and you get credits back uh so you're in carbonite one i don't think you really need to build out teams right now honestly uh if you're looking for uh like projects to do between ray and slkr uh, i would say the only ones i would really do are getting your wampa relict and then maybe a Savage or a Triumvirate, I think, is definitely able to be farmed in this little hole you have between the two characters. Uh, but I do think that you should move SLKR farther up the list. Because you're going from Carbonite to Bronzium right now, and then you'll go Bronzium to Chromium. And honestly, you'll have enough teams through uh, Carbonite, Bronzium, and Chromium if you get SLKR and you get... Uh, ray you'll you'll have enough teams period to get up that high in fact you'll have enough teams to go up to a rhodium and that's where you'll start struggling and so i would suggest moving slkr higher in priority and then going after these other teams in a row right after you finish slkr uh, because you're going to be farming teams and it's great but having a second galactic legend where you can have one on defense and one on offense will allow you to swing up into a rhodium no problem uh, and then you'll be popping in and out of Erodium and Chromium pretty frequently until you can build out your teams. <clears throat> and so that would be my suggestion as to just shifting your, your farming just a little bit. Uh, is just putting SLKR higher up on the priority list. Also, having two GLs is just going to be nice for all kinds of events and that kind of thing. You're going to be getting more um, signal data from SLKR's events and things like that. And so you're just... Honestly, that's probably what I would do. So get yourself a Wampa, get yourself a Savage, get some quick characters that equal teams, I think is 100% viable in between your Ray and your SLKR farm. But I think as soon as you have your ships done for the finalizer and you're going in, I'd go full in on SLKR. Um, Triumvirate, I think, is a great farm. CLS, you're close, so I think it's also a great farm for in between if you're like still waiting on your five-star finalizer. You could take some time for that, but the moment that you finish the ships, you get the finalizer done, you should be going right into SLKR. So, yeah, that, that would be my suggestion to you. So, get your first order done and get your characters done for getting SLKR um, before moving on to these other projects of, you know, doing the Triumvirate. And then, as you have time... Do the major characters first that can make full teams, so Wampa, Savage, and then you can build out from a Savage into a Triumvirate, and if you have to abandon your Triumvirate to finish SLKR, it's not going to be a problem because you still have that Savage lying around that's really usable in your account. But then if you had relic you know, Treya instead first, then you're like, well, I just got a Treya and I have to abandon this farm. So, yeah, absolutely, I can check your mods. I'll, I'll do a quick check of your mods, I'll do a quick check of your ships. Okay, still don't have to go quite yet. <clears throat> okay, uh, the, I'm going to finish your account, and then Dr. J, we will go through yours and your girlfriend's account on the next stream. Same with you, Character King. I do got to get going. Um, let me just check through these guys' mods, and we will be good. Okay, so 332, I love seeing that on Resistance Hero Finn. It's sexy, I love that. Piet being over 300 speed, I hope? Absolutely, heck yeah. That's what I like to see. Um, let's check to see, just see if there's a mod fall off. So let's go down here to Padme. It looks like there is quite a bit of a mod fall off, but it looks more of you don't have the credits or the mods overall to fulfill that. Uh, but it looks like most of the characters that you are currently using do have some speed on them above 60, which is good to see. I do like seeing Sabine Wren up here. Um, first Order Officer faster than your Hux is good. Just looking through to see if there's any characters I suggest getting faster. I'm not really seeing many besides Grief Karga. I would like to see a faster Grief Karga. 
but beyond that, looking good. Uh, something to add into your farming plan as well. So here's here would be my suggestion really quick to you. Um, you have Piet. You have some Imperial Troopers that you can build really easily. So I'm going to suggest you finish Ray, and then instead of doing this stuff that you have here, do Wampa, do Dark Trooper, and then do uh, Savage. And then if you have time, you can work on some Triumvirate or one of these other farms that you have here. But Triumvirate's the easiest to just drop and then come back to. So that's why I suggest it first. Uh, and then finish SLKR. And so the, getting that Dark Trooper is just going to immediately give you another team because you already have a Relic AP yet. So it'll help a lot. But your overall top speed characters, I love what I'm seeing. Um, and I want you to have more use out of your Piet. So get that Dark Trooper Relic. You don't even have to throw any Zetas in. The only Zeta you need is the Veer Zeta which you already have and so get this dark trooper relic it'll allow you to even though the rest of the team's gear 12 you can take down any uh darth revan that you end up seeing you, it'll help you so much uh as for your ships let's take a quick look uh make sure you're working on your echelon as soon as you have room in your farming plan i get it you might not um make sure you're working on your comeuppance as well as your uh your bomber at some point just to make sure that fleet's done and then this is the other fleet that I always like seeing done. So get yourself an Iden Versio with her TIE Defender. Super, super helpful. You already have Executor, so you already have the basis of this fleet. So I'm not going to give you an overall farming plan because you have a lot here. I did suggest kind of the beginning, but I have pointed out a couple things. You know, the Chimera fleet, you can add that in. Things like that. Kind of take a look at your overall farming plan and don't forget to factor in PPs. Passion projects are super important. So whatever ones that you really love feel free to ignore me and go for it i'm just trying to show you the most efficient way but i'm not showing you the best way to play because the best way to play is the way that you'll enjoy so if gas is a big thing for you and you have enough grievous shards uh to really justify a droid team you're going to be able to get a general grievous team a padme team a gas team you'll you'll do great but efficiency wise that's what i'm thinking is definitely work on that chimera fleet uh definitely go for that slkr sooner and then Dark Trooper, Savage, and Wampa are great in-between farms for you. So, never forget the PP exactly, Wep. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to have just a little fun thing. I've got about a minute left. Uh, and so, we are going to show off something a little fun that um, I've been working on with a buddy of mine. So... I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out to the stream. And we got here our fancy screen that we've been working on that we will have at the end of every single stream to show off the damn contributions as well as the damn sugar daddy, which is currently ADP. He is the highest donator for the last 30 days. Thank you so much ADP for donating. And thanks to all of you members who are, you know, redoing your membership or contributing. And thanks to all of you damn contributors. You guys are awesome. <clears throat> I love each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for joining us today.